Morgan experiment on Drosophila. Linkage and recombination are two phenomena which describe the inheritance of genes. For example, if genes are closely linked, completely linked, then recombination chances are less. That is 1.3% and when genes are loosely linked, then recombination chances are more. That is 37.2%. This conclusion was proved by Thomas Hunt Morgan while working on Drosophila melanogaster. He selected Drosophila melanogaster called as fruit fly because they can be easily cultured in lab, short life cycle 2 weeks, characters are easily visible under low power. In body color there are two contrasting characters, brown and yellow. Brown color is dominant and yellow color is recessive. Yellow color is represented by recessive gene small y and brown color is represented by dominant genes y plus. So here small y for recessive for dominant it will be y plus. In eye color there are two contrasting characters red color and white color. Red color is dominant and white color is recessive. White color I is represented by small w and red color is represented by w plus. So please note over here recessive w dominant will be w plus. In wing size there are two contrasting characters normal wing and miniature wing. Normal wing is dominant and miniature is recessive. Miniature is represented by small m genes and normal wing is represented by m plus genes. All these genes are present on X chromosome. This is sex linkage. On Y chromosome, genes for body color, eye color and wing size are absent. Let's start with cross 1. Here genes are closely linked. Morgan considered two characters while crossing. That is body color and eye color. As mentioned in body color, brown color is dominant, yellow color is recessive. In eye color, red color eye is dominant, white color eye is recessive. In parental generation 1, recessive characters are present in female. So let's start with cross 1. This is female Drosophila. It has X and X chromosome. On this X chromosome, recessive genes are present. That is small y and small w. Small y means yellow body color and small w means white eye color. This is male. It has one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. X chromosome has dominant genes that is Y plus and W plus. Y plus means brown color body and W plus means red color eye. On Y chromosome genes for body color, eye color are absent. In female only one type of gamete egg is formed. There is X chromosome having small y and small w. In male, two types of sperm male gametes are formed. One sperm will have X chromosome and the genes are y plus and w plus. These two are dominant genes. y plus represents brown body color and w plus represents red color I. Second sperm male gamete will have Y chromosome. Note genes for body color and eye color are absent on Y chromosome. Now, now female gamete is fertilized by sperm containing X chromosome then this will be the combination X chromosome and X chromosome. Here will be small y and small w and here will be y plus and W plus. 
this is female and wild type because here y plus and w plus will express so the female will be having brown body color and red color eye if this female gamete is fertilized by sperm containing y chromosome then this will be the combination x and y x chromosome had genes small y and small w y chromosome does not have genes for body color and eye color here male will have yellow color body and white color eye this is f1 generation if the result of f1 generation are self crossed female will produce four types of egg first x chromosome will have small y and small w this is parental second x chromosome will have y plus and w plus this is also parental but third and fourth are different because when meiosis takes place there is exchange of genetic material so third gamete will have y plus and w and fourth gamete will have y and w plus so here first and second female gamete are parental while third and fourth female gamete are the result of crossing over male will produce two types of sperm male gametes first sperm will have x chromosome having small y and small w second sperm will have y chromosome as i said on y chromosome genes for body color and eye color are absent now let's cross there are four female gametes and two male gametes let's cross by checkers board method here is male and here female male has two types of gamete one having x chromosome with genes small y and small w another having y chromosome without any genes for body color and eye color female gamete here egg with x chromosome having small y and small w your x with y plus and w plus your x chromosome with y plus and w because of crossing over your x chromosome with y and w plus because of crossing over let's see fertilization here will be x chromosome with small y and small w and x chromosome with small y and small w female will be having yellow body and white eye here x and x here y plus and w plus here y and w female will have brown body and red eye it's a wild type here x and x here y plus and w here y and w y plus is dominant so brown body and white color eye here x and x here small y and w plus here y and small w since here dominant genes for eye color so body color is yellow and red color eye these are all females here x and y on x chromosome small y and small w y chromosome no genes for body color and eye color male will have yellow color body and white color eye here x and y on x chromosome y plus w plus y chromosome no genes male will have brown color body and red color eye here x and y x chromosome will have y plus and w no genes on y chromosome male will have brown color body and white color eye here x and y x chromosome will have small y and w plus no genes on y chromosome male will have yellow color body and red color eye so here parental type will have percentage 98.7 that is out of 1000 987 will be your parental type and recombination will be 1.3% means out of 1000 13 will be of recombination type so in cross one we have seen if genes are closely linked there will be less recombination 
that is 1.3 percent 